hello guys and welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to create auto responsive grid layout it is auto responsive because you will not do anything in the breakpoint you're not going to set anything in the breakpoint so i'm going to show you a setting a function that you're going to use in your grid settings that will give you this auto responsive layout okay let's take a look at what i'm talking about so if i reduce the viewport size you can see that this card is three we have a three column uh, grid layout here and then as the viewport narrows it you know collapses to two switches to two and then as the viewport goes down more it switches to one so let's jump into bricks and begin now i've already set up my section and my container and i have six blocks now these six blocks are my cards and i want to turn them into a three column or a four column grid now the grid settings is relatively new in Bricks. So if you have been using Bricks for a while, you know that the grid is one of the most latest display uh, property that has been added to Bricks. So uh, when you select the container, you're gonna see display and then if you go there, you're gonna change it to grid and nothing happens. Now the basic and the most fundamental settings uh, that you will have to use for the grid is on, the parents it's on the grid parent you don't need to worry about the children for now the grid layout is defined by the basic layout the basic uh, unit is the fractional unit which is represented by an fr so one fr means one fractional unit and if you repeat that it means that you want to have one fr two times you know so you one fr again gives you two columns and then if you want to have three columns you add one FR again, if you want to have four columns and so on. So you get the gist, all right? Uh, but this is not what we're going to be doing, okay? So if we go down to the breakpoint, let's say I wanted to have three and you go down here and go down here and say, okay, I want to have two. So you do one FR, one FR. Now this is the basic stuff. This is the elementary stuff. Now we're not going to be doing the elementary stuff. Uh, what we're going to do is to take it up a bit. We have a repeat function in grid. And that is defined by, you know, you say repeat. When you write repeat, you put uh, open and close bracket, and then you write the number of times you want to repeat. For now, we want to repeat three times. You put three, and then you put a comma, and then you write the size, which is one fractional unit. This is one FR. Now, I'm going to give it a gap of two rem. Okay. And then, so I have my three column grid. Now, but it is still not auto-responsive, but this is the foundation that we're gonna build the auto-responsive layout. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna expand this layout. I'm gonna expand this function, and then I'm gonna introduce new things into this function. So we have repeat three times. So the three represents the number of times. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna replace that by an automatic unit, which is the auto-fit. Now there are different kinds of units. You have the auto fill, the auto fit, and the other types. But we're going to focus on the auto fit. So I'm going to write the auto dash fit. So we're replacing the number. We're saying fit it automatically. We're not giving you a number. Fit it automatically. Now the size of the cell. We're going to replace that by another function, and that function is going to take care of the responsive, the automatic responsive unit. Now we're going to replace it with, with the min max function, which will have its own open and close bracket. And then inside there, we're going to define the minimum width for our card. Now for this card, if I say 250 minimum width pixels, then I'm going to put a comma. And then the next thing we're going to define is the maximum size, the maximum width, which will be still one fractional unit, one FR. So now we have four, but why do we have four? Because our minimum width is set to 250 now. So how do you know the number of columns to get? Now you know that by knowing your site's width. Now, if you go into the settings, the theme settings, you go down here to containers. The container contains the site width. The default site width is 1100 pixels. Now, if I divide 1100 pixels by say four, it's gonna give me let's let's do that one one zero zero divided by four now we need three columns 
but we have 275 that is if we divide a side width by 4. Now this gives us an idea the unit or the value below which we should not go. Even if we put 275 in that minimum width, okay, we're going to have three, uh, three columns. You know why? Because we have to account for the gap. So that gives us three columns. So, uh, so what I'm going to say is that uh, if you wanted three, just make it 280. Okay. So that gives you three. If you want to take it up a bit, maybe 400. You know, so you play with this unit to give you the number of columns that you want. But I'm just going to give it a two, uh, 280. I, I prefer giving it mine 280 uh, if I'm doing three columns. So now what this does is this. By the time you get down to the lower breakpoint, it is watching each card. And once each card decides to go below 280, it's going to collapse. It's not going to let it do that. And then it's going to collapse. So we have an auto-responsive grid layout so let's look at the front end and see what we have already we have seen it before so we see this now if we reduce this the cards are shrinking but once the cards gets to 280 it recalculates and changes to two columns and then by the time we go down here and then it rewraps and changes to one column so guys that is it on how to create an auto responsive grid layout so if you found this useful please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe until next time have a great day bye